Stay fresh. Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you're all aware, Rockstar Games released a brand new car this week called the Canis Free Crawler and they've been releasing brand new cars every single week since the nightclub DLC. So I know you guys are in need of some serious money to buy all of this content. And I'm not gonna lie boys, the method I'm gonna show you in today's video is absolutely insane. To give you guys some figures from a single game alone, you'll be able to earn over $292,000 as well as over 33,000 RP. So I thought I'd wait until today, Friday, because I know a ton of you guys are gonna be off school, off work, and you're gonna be getting on your grind tonight. So I guarantee all of you guys will love this method. So as always, if you guys do enjoy the video and you would like to see me cover more epic money and RP guides in the future, all I ask is you drop a like down below and also feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so as I did mention, earlier on the week, Rockstar Games did release a brand new car known as the Canis Free Crawler. However, when they released this brand new car, they also released a brand new adversary mode called Trading Places Remix. Now, Rockstar Games are actually offering double money and double RP on this brand new adversary mode. So if played in the right way, you guys can earn a ton of money very, very quickly. Like I said, we're talking about earning over 292000 dollars and over 33,000 RP from a single game alone. Now that is with playing the game in the right way. Like I said, if you guys are able to earn all of the in-game bonuses, which I will be fully breaking down in this video, so all of you guys can come on straight away and get straight on your grind. Now going off previous videos, seeing as this is a brand new adversary mode, you guys always seem to appreciate it when I just take a few minutes just to fully explain what this game mode is all about, as well as giving you guys a few major tips and tricks that you can use just in case you do prefer to grind this against randoms, this will work for you 100% of the time and will practically guarantee you guys will win against any player. But then shortly after that, I will break down how you guys can grind this out with a friend so you can both earn a ton of money in no time now if you guys aren't aware adversary modes cannot be played solo you guys will only need one other player to grind this method out with this is another great thing about this adversary mode last week's one did require a minimum of four players which was quite annoying to find three other players to grind out with but the fact that you guys only need one other player to grind this method out with i guarantee you'll all be able to find one other player now if you guys don't have that many friends that do play gta 5 online just simply leave a comment underneath this video with your gamer tag or your PSN and you might be better off leaving whether or not you've got a mic as I know certain players only like to play with other players with mics but I guarantee as long as all of you guys watch this video all the way through you'll know exactly what to do straight away you won't even need a mic you'll be able to come on straight away and get straight on your grind now if you guys do leave a comment underneath this video you might be better off leaving what time zone you play in just so you guys can find other players that will be on at the same time as you and finally once you guys have left a comment underneath this video with your gamer tag or your PSN, you can go ahead and try and join one of my GTA 5 crews. I will leave a link to all five of my crews down below in the description. So three of the crews are for all platforms. It doesn't matter whether you're on PS4, Xbox One or PC. So they are Laser Gaming Crew, Laser Gang and Laser Gaming PC. You guys can go ahead and join any three of these crews, no matter what console you play on. However, my other two crews, Laser Gaming PS4, is for the PS4 members only, and Laser Gaming X1 is for the Xbox One members only. Only join those two crews if you guys play on that platform, because I can check if you guys have joined the wrong crew. If you've got like a PSN account linked to your gamer tag, you can join the Xbox One crew. I will be kicking you guys within a few days. Now, finally, I will say my crews do fill up very quickly as soon as I upload a video. So if you guys really want to join my crew, give it exactly one hour after I upload this video tonight and I will be kicking hundreds of inactive members from all of my crews. So if you guys are trying to join straight away as soon as I upload this video, check back, like I said, in exactly one hour and I guarantee there will be a spot there waiting for you. However, before I fully break down how you guys can earn the most amount of money in the shortest period of time as well as how to earn all of the in-game bonuses i want 
to quickly let you guys know what this new game mode is all about as well as giving you guys a few major tips and tricks that I've picked up in the last few days that will save you guys a ton of time playing against randoms. Okay so it is worth mentioning there is two teams in this game mode you have winners and losers so the winners team is going to be in the juggernaut suit and you will have three different weapons you have the minigun the rail gun and a shotgun now on the losers team you guys will be the beasts so in other words the american werewolf so you guys will have no weapons but you will have all of the special abilities that the werewolf comes with i.e you'll be able to jump really high you'll be able to sprint really fast as well as appear off the minimap for short periods of time so the good thing about this adversary mode it is very very self-explanatory and very straightforward i do find the best adversary modes are always the most simple ones so the simple objective of this adversary mode is for the losers to basically kill the winners in the juggernaut suit that will then transform them into a juggernaut and on the winners team so as you guys can see right here i am currently on the winners team as a juggernaut my friend comes over he's able to kill me i then turn into the werewolf switched onto the losers team and my friend then becomes the juggernaut now in the bottom right as you guys can see we do have two different bars that will fill up every single time you guys are on the winners team and whoever has their bar full up the most by the end of the round will then win that round now this is a very important point because this can be switched up within one minute of the game so you guys can be winning the entire game as the winners so as you guys can see i had my bar pretty much full for this entire section of the game however as soon as i'm killed my bar will start to decrease and my friend's bar will start to increase and if he does that at the right time right towards the end of the round so my bar decreases before i actually have time to go ahead and kill him he will then go ahead and win the round and this actually happened to us on one occasion so as you guys can see on this round right here my friend was able to come back right at the end his bar was full up more than mine even though i had my bar full up for the majority of the game because he had his one full up more towards the end of the round he ended up winning the round so a massive tip is that i'm going to give you guys is don't even bother playing this game mode or paying attention until right at the end of the round because you're practically just playing the game for fun up until that point so for example if the rounds are set on 15 minutes this tie an elastic band around your control pad go afk and then go ahead and try and kill your friend once it reaches the 13 minute 14 minute mark because it's going to be practically useless killing him beforehand if he's able to kill you towards the end of the round and then sneak the win now as far as tactics or tips i'm going to give you guys when playing as either of these characters there really isn't that many tips you can give when playing as the beast on the loser side as it's pretty self-explanatory all you guys have to do is hold the l trigger and jump as high as you can to close the distance towards the juggernaut so you guys can punch the hell out of him and switch teams however there is a bit more of a tactic if you guys are on the winner's team to actually remain the winner for a longer period of time so a tactic that i picked up that i used a lot in a ton of different games that always worked was to basically switch on the thermal vision as soon as you guys get onto the juggernaut team now you guys always want to be on the move running away or in a corner of some sort where you could always see where the beast is coming from or what direction because as soon as he jumps he will do some sort of animation where his character will lay on the ground for like a second or two now what this will actually do is give you guys the perfect opportunity to smash him in the face with the rail gun because he will not be able to move whilst his character lands from doing the jump so you want to quickly always have your rail gun out so you can shoot him as soon as he jumps next to you and then as soon as he jumps next to you and you've shot him you want to switch over to your minigun and just spray the hell out of this gun and eight times out of ten you guys will notice this tactic will work perfect because the beast will have to use that massive jump trait that he has in order to get to you quickly or if he doesn't want to use that and he decides to just run towards you then don't bother using your rail gun just spray him down with the minigun but nine times out of ten they will use that jump in order to get to you quicker because they're trying to get to you and kill you quickly so just time it perfectly so when they land their jump you're you're able to shoot the rail gun anywhere in that distance and it should crumble their body giving you enough time to pull out the minigun and spray them down so that is basically the game mode wrapped up in one it is a pretty fun and easy to play game mode i'm not gonna lie i've been having tons of fun with my friends on it 
I'm not gonna lie though, ever since I've discovered that railgun switch onto the minigun trick, I have not lost a single game. So whether you guys, like I said right at the start of the video, wanna play against randoms or against a friend, it's completely up to you. But now that I've broken down what this game mode is all about, as well as giving you guys a few tips and tricks, I'm gonna quickly break down now the different payouts you guys can earn depending on how long you guys spend in the game. So first things first, the big tip I'm gonna give you guys is to be in a free roam online session, press start go across the online playlist and you want to go ahead and create a playlist with about two or three of these maps in the playlist this will just save you guys a bunch of time in the long run having to back out and vote for menus wait for players plus you guys will be earning a playlist bonus Nonetheless, so once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and invite one of your friends into the game. Like I said, if you guys don't have that many friends that do play GTA 5 online, simply leave a comment down below with your gamer tag, your Steam, or your PSN, and just say what time you're looking to play. However, once you guys are in this part of the menu, all you want to do is make sure you put it on four rounds, and you want to put the round duration on 15 minutes. This will make much more sense later in the video, but it's essential that you guys set the game up exactly like this if you want to be earning the highest payouts as well as all of the round bonuses which will make a massive difference to your final payout now it is worth mentioning extra players in your game are not going to add to your final payout so a 1v1 is going to earn you guys exactly the same amount as a 3v3 would so you're always better off just going for the 1v1s the 2v1s or the 2v2s now the second factor to take into account is the time spent in the game now usually every adversary mode can finish between a random time so between two to four four to six six to eight however the good thing about this adversary mode is it's set to only three different timers five minutes ten minutes or fifteen minutes so you don't want to do five minutes because we'll earn you guys less than 10k the 10 minute mark will only earn you guys 26k however by doing the full 15 minute mark you guys will be earning a very nice forty thousand dollars per round and that's without earning the winner's round bonus which will end up earning you guys more than 40k per round now how you guys will earn this is by winning rounds back to back so hopefully you appreciate me putting this graph together for you guys so it's very clear and you guys can see exactly how much you'll be earning so if you guys were to win two rounds back to back on top of your initial payout you'll be earning an insane 24k bonus now put this graph together without double money so as you guys know for winning one round you'd usually only get 13k that's why it's 26 6k for two rounds whereas we're earning 26k for one round so where you guys can see 26,000 right now that's more like 52,000 plus the double money of the 12k which is 24 taking us up to 74k and if you guys are able to win three rounds back to back you're earning an extra 20k and if you guys can win four rounds back to back it's an insane 26k extra bonus and that's without double money and rp now that is like i said for winning rounds back to back that's why you guys always want to put it on four rounds rounds so when you sit back and be smart and think about it you're much much better off playing one big long game than rather playing five or six short games of only one or two rounds because you won't be earning no bonuses during that you might be able to earn the time bonus but that's just practically it so when you think about it with the first to win four rounds you have a potential of playing a total of seven rounds per game now what you guys can do if you're really smart like i said and you come against some noobs is just let them win the first three rounds just collect the losers bonus casually play watch some videos in the back round and then you win the next four rounds so you're earning the winner's bonus for the entirety of the end of the game you guys like i said will be able to earn some insane mind-blowing payouts well over 190k so hopefully you guys do appreciate me covering all of the different payouts so you guys can work out what suits you guys best so you can play it however you guys want to play as well as showing you how to maximize and earn the biggest payout and how you guys can earn all of the bonuses as well as giving you guys a few tips and tricks on how to play this game mode and when you take everything into account how fun it is all of the different payouts you can earn and the fact that you can play it with friends i've got to say guys it is by far the best method to be grinding out as of right now and as you guys can see on screen right now when you're earning payouts like this over two hundred thousand dollars and nearly thirty thousand rp which is just mind-blowing you guys really have no reason to complain so definitely be sure to leave a comment down below find yourself another player to grind this out with and all i ask is you do drop a like down below as it has taken me a few days to put this video together for you guys and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching and i'll See you in my next video.